Hello, fellow Herpers and fellow Herping fans. Almost all Herpers in southeastern New York know that there are snakes in the Bashakil, but a lot of us don't know why it is such a gold mine of them. Well, let's think about it. All of the snakes that have been correctly reported to the Department of Environmental Conservation around the Bashakil are the common garter snake, the northern water snake, the timber rattlesnake, smooth green snake, eastern ribbon snake, black rat snake, DK's brown snake, northern red belly snake, eastern hognose snake, northern ringneck snake, northern black racer, and the eastern milk snake. First of all, the Bashakil is basically a huge swamp that is surrounded by mountains. The northern water snake, the eastern ribbon snake, and the smooth green snake specifically target permanent bodies of water with lots of vegetation around it as their home, while the northern water snake can also be found around bodies of water that are annual. Don't forget that I said that the Bashakil is surrounded by large mountains, because I'm going to go over that as well. Timber rattlesnakes will target mountains, cliffs, and slopes as their home, as a large swamp will work as a water supply. My grandfather told me that his father, my great-grandfather, warned him about rattlesnakes whenever he would climb the cliffs and mountains of the Bashakil. Often, timber rattlesnakes will den and f*** each other in rocky slopes, as there are tons of rocky slopes at the Bashakil. Don't forget that the Bashakil is a giant swamp, so as you could imagine, there is a surplus of frogs, which is perfect for the eastern hognose snake. The eastern hognose snake might even go very far from water and still eat at the same time because out of all frogs, they mainly target toads, which are mainly land frogs. And as you could imagine, the Bashakil's forests are filled with American toads. As I mentioned earlier, there are rocky slopes at the Bashakil, which serves a perfect home for the northern ringneck snake, the northern red belly snake, and the DK's brown snake. These three snakes are rarely ever seen out in the open, as they like to stay under mostly rocks, eating mostly small prey, such as slugs and earthworms. The Bashakil is surrounded by trees, thus making a perfect home for black rat snakes. As black rat snakes are amazing climbers, they will often climb up in a tree and feast on birds, chipmunks, and squirrels. As my grandfather once told me, there used to be a junkyard in the Bashakil area. I presume that there is junk left over from it. Any type of junk that has been laying around for a while provides perfect habitats for eastern milk snakes and black racers. And as we all know, the common garter snake can be found in any of these areas that were described during the video. I hope that you are all satisfied by this video, and, as always, Happy herping.